Hi guys, welcome to Primus Learning. Um, here's another video um, to help you get cloud hired, guys, to help you get a role um, uh, using, you know, AWS skill sets that you may have acquired or you've, you've acquired in training. Uh, you know, AWS, um, the AWS space, the, the cloud space, DevOps roles are really in high demand now, guys. And for you to be able to get in the, uh, you need to have some practical knowledge, some practical skill sets to be able to break in. Uh, my name is Primus Veku as usual, um, and I'll be walking you through some workshops, guys, some tutorials, some practical, um, uh, you know, demos or practical hands-on trainings that you can do or that you can take to be able to get yourself into the door, to get hired in the cloud space. There are some things that you need to practice. There are some things that you need to, to, to know how to do. As an interviewer myself, when I'm asking someone a question in an interview, I am expecting them, I'm, I'm expecting some to, to feel that that person has worked or has experience with some of the details um, that you would only be able to have through practicals, right? You only see how the things are connected together through um, your hands-on practicals. And these practicals or these um, uh, uh, trainings or tutorials that I'm sharing with you today, um, if you practice them and if you master them, these are use cases that you can uh, definitely use um, in your interviews. You can have sections in your resume that tell uh, the, anyone who has your resume, hey, I have experience doing this, this, and this. I have experience doing this, this, and that. And we'll walk through um, that process here. So guys, um, the very first thing, right? The very first Thing I would want you to have experience in is in building serverless web applications using Lambda and API Gateway as well as S3 and DynamoDB with Cognito. That covers a whole lot of ground, guys. It covers serverless web applications. It covers API gateways, it covers S3, it covers DynamoDB, it covers Cognito. That's that's a whole lot of things that you need to master right there. And as you walk through this work, workshop, you will be able to get um, get get those skill sets. So I'm I'm not I'm not doing the practical part here. I'm not doing the, the you know the demos here, but I'll give you the links. It walks you through step by step, and so you can take your time, go through these practicals, master them, and you can, that's a very big use case um, as you talk through your interview processes. So let me show you, for instance, if you go through this process, what you can have in your resume as, as, as a result of, you know, you practicing and knowing and building stuff um, with this tutorial right here. So on your resume, you can say, hey, um, after going through the, the, the tutorial, guys, and after practicing and building out these, you can say um, experienced, experienced building uh, serverless web applications leveraging AWS services such as Lambda, S3, Dynamo, DB, and Cognito. So you see, you already have a huge line on your on your resume. And, and when you're talking in an interview, right, when you're talking in an interview about this, you want to mention that you've uh, you've had experience building uh, serverless applications uh, using, making use of Lambda and API Gateway as well as S3. And then you, you really explain that in detail, like what you did, right, the process of it. And you can see this process it's really explained neatly. You have an architecture diagram for it. You have everything about it right here, right? So this is this is it right here. Build a serverless web 
application. And so they will give you step-by-step step the number of hours it will take, uh, the type of experience that's needed, the cost um, that you would encounter if you do it for this number of time and then you clear it off about 25 cents, what it requires, right? So these are like the technologies that are used. You need an AWS account, an Arc GIS account. This is like a Arc GIS is like a package or a um, call it you, you, a, an API that helps you uh, track locations. That help you get locations, right? You can get distances to locations and all of that. So and help you, you know, mapping uh, your app and and so on. And then you need. AWS Lambda, Amazon Gateway, AWS Amplify, Amazon DynamoDB, and Cognito. So this is the architecture of, of you know, this application right here. So you, you, you see, you have an architectural diagram in front of you. You can even open this workshop when you're in an interview, right? And have this architecture diagram in front of you, telling the interviewer, hey, this is what I did. This is what I did. And they have a description of it right here in front of you guys. So if you walk through this process, you will be able to really neatly, neatly, neatly um, talk, talk uh, uh, through your interview process and um, land that job that you really want to uh, land. So you can see it begins here, host a static website, goes to manage users. Of course, you'll be hosting the static website using the process that's defined down here. So it gives you the implementation section. You select everything. It gives you the code. It gives you everything that you need, guys. It gives you the, the repositories to clone. It gives you step-by-step, step, guys. So there's no need to tell people that you don't have uh, you, you don't have experience. You have not practiced. You don't have anything to practice. It's all here, guys. It's, it's all here. You just need to put in the two hours. You see, it's just two hours. Put in the two hours and make sure you master it. It gives you really, really details to everything. You see, it gives you the code. It gives you everything step-by-step step explaining you exactly what you will need to do. So once you've, you're done with this, you can have that line on, on your resume, which says, hey, I've, I've had experience building serverless web applications. I've had experience using DynamoDB. I've had experience, um, you, know, you know, storing and querying stuff in S3 and so on, Cognito and so on and so forth. So guys, this is absolutely, absolutely important. There's no way you can't, can't, you can't, can't, <laughs> sorry, there's no way you can't stay out of, um, uh, you know, practices like this or, or practicals like this one. So this is the very first one that I wanted to share with you. The second one is building a, a connect, uh, Amazon Lex connect environment, right? So uh, let me share this right here. So you see what it's all about. So Amazon Lex Connect Workshop. So it has the code, it has everything available for you. And so you can see a description of what this workshop will be all about, guys. It's a very simple example of a flow for customer service chatbot for a fictitious fintech company using Amazon Lex. So you can you can put this as, or you can share uh, in your interview that, hey, you, you, you help build a, 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 a workflow for customer service, a, a chatbot for a customer service uh, uh, department for a fintech company. And um, you used Amazon Lex to do that. And you can go into the details of this. You have labs that will be showing you exactly what to do. And you can talk in detail about, uh, you know, those labs, what you did and all of that, because the interviewer would want to know details. They want to understand, hey, what was the problem the client was looking to solve? What were they what what were they faced with and how did you help them solve that problem right that's exactly what the the, the interview is expecting the interviewer is expecting you to give a problem that the company faced um how you I'm, I'm talking about maybe your current company or the companies you've worked for, right? Uh, how you, you were able to solve that problem using uh, AWS services. So you'll be simply sharing your experience about, you know, about this. And it really, really, really gives you the details of how 
you could could build a a connect a customer service environment using chatbots using amazon lex and and have phone numbers that people can call using aws connect amazon connect sorry and, and so on and so forth so you can follow this workshop and build that and and really you can even use this in your own environment if you have a simple uh you know maybe business and and you want to have a customer service part of that business you can leverage this to have customer service numbers chatbots that respond to people and so on and so forth so guys explore this and have this on your resume once you've built this you can you can then put that part on your resume which says you've had experience um building you know a, a chatbot for a fintech organization so that is the second uh workshop or second training that are or practical that i would want you guys to look at the very third one here uh let's take this link over so i will share this link on the description page um when i upload this video guys so let's go to this one and this one is building uh, is AppSync immersion day. So this is like a whole a whole workshop that you can walk through. It's a whole workshop that AWS organizes, and you can really walk through this. And this uses AWS Amplify to build an application to build a, a complete application that you can see how it's how and you can see how it works, right? So you first of all need to uh, get get the code for this application and then you do some some things you unzip it and so so it's a step by step workshop as well that you can leverage right you can use and it will tell you what the workshop is all about how to set up your environment and the prerequisites and everything about the workshop and guys this is really really very neat uh, this will teach you how amplify works with AppSync and how graphql and all of that works and how you can you can query GraphQLs um, and, and you can build your application that is, you know, uh, really, really fast um, using using GraphQL, using uh, AppSync and using Amplify. This walks you through really neatly. And you can use this on your resume that you build an app application using AppSync and Amplify. And uh, uh, of course, you are able to query GraphQL and GraphQL, you know, is a um, really fast database, uh, well, database, uh, uh, database type, call it. It's, it's a type of, you know, uh, when you have data that is that, that needs to be queried really fast, really quickly, data that is real-time data, you can use GraphQL as, as, as the method or as the database um, uh, to be able to, to, to query your data. You can store your data in, in DynamoDB. You can store it anywhere and use GraphQL to query that data. And it will be real time, real time, I mean. So this this is this is how it, it looks. Guys, take um make make use of this opportunity. You won't you won't find it anywhere. It doesn't come easily like that. You have to practice, you have to follow these workshops, you have to do them. All right, the next one is this workshop. So let me bring it up. So we can take a look together. All right. So this one is another workshop, which is a DevOps modernization workshop, right? This is offered by AWS as well. So AWS has so many free tools, so many free resources that people are not making use of. People are not are not leveraging. This is this this will help you build a complete ci cd pipeline and you can be talking about a ci cd pipeline if you have been in the devops space and this really really neatly just shows you how to build it using gitlab how the files are built how the complete pipeline is built it walks you through an introduction it walks through you through an architectural diagram objectives what were the objectives um, the organization that you worked for wanted uh to achieve so these are the objectives the organization was maybe they had this uh, a, a, an application they wanted to 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 automate right using ci cd pipeline tools and so you helped uh them achieve that using gitlab using uh, uh, uh 
you know, GitLab runner using uh, CI/CD pipeline. So GitLab runners were uh, the CI/CD uh, tools that you used, right? And then you configured your CI/CD pipeline and so on and so forth. So it will show you the whole the whole process. Um, it shows you the time that it will take to go through the process to stand up the environment, the time that it would take to prepare, the time that it would take to prepare the target environment, the use, um, you know, and, and all of this. It just shows you everything, guys, and you can walk through it step by step. I mean, step by step. This doesn't get any better than, than this, guys. And once you are done through this, you can really, really just, just um, have this experience on your resume because you've actually built it. You've actually uh, developed it. Maybe you just develop it for your private company or for your, yourself, your, your little application that you're building for yourself. This is something neat, guys. And this is exactly what you'll be doing at your jobs. Sometimes at your job, you may not have the opportunity to do this end by end to end, right? Uh, and this is having that experience doing it end to end. So you can have it on your resume and authoritatively say that you've done it because you're actually doing it. So you don't just want to go say things that you've not done, you've done this. It even has a video here, you know, showing you what is done and so on and so forth, guys. So there's no need to not have that experience that you need to be able to go through the door. And um, so that's, that's the fourth one. The last one, that I wanted to show you guys is um, this one. So let's go there. Is this workshop right here. So this will give you an opportunity to experience a, 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 an analytics workshop, right? An analytics workshop and how data moves from place to place and how you can, you can can um, share that data or, or, you know, give users, give top level uh, management of organizations visibility into, into uh, the, the, the company, into what's happening in the company. So you can be able to build dashboards with this using Grafana. And this is this really just gives you an, an an overview of what this will be doing. So it just acts like it just gives you the opportunity to tell the interviewer that hey, uh, this is the problem the organization was facing, you know. And then we used Dynamo DB, uh, um, you know, to to be able to to build that using. Um, so Dynamo DB was your database of choice, and you used uh, complex. Uh, real-time transactions and it can be paired with Rockstar, blah, 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 blah. So this just explains exactly uh, what, you know, what the company was facing and what you did, right? And so you walk through the process here and it really also has a video you can watch, guys, so it doesn't get better than this. And you can see real-time dashboards. The uh, top management of the organization can see dashboards about their their. The, you know, maybe their company, what's happening at what level, using the data that's that's stored in DynamoDB and so on and so forth, guys. So really, this is neat. This is, it's, it's as neat as it can get, right? So the work you through, how to even create uh, your users, create your <laughs> get credentials and everything, guys. So it's step-by-step step here. And this is really very neat, v really very neat, guys. And this will give you experience or exposure to the analytics part of AWS. And, and you, you don't have as maybe wanting to get higher, right? You don't have to just maybe know just this, just one little section of AWS. No, you need to, uh, to, to be hired as a solutions architect or a cloud engineer or a DevOps engineer. You need broad knowledge on how systems work together. And so doing this five, these five, um, practical lessons or these five practical tutorials right here will cover you up, will give you good grounds on how, on the database part, will give you good grounds on the front end part of an application, will give you good grounds on the back end part of an application, will give you good grounds on the analytics part of things and how data interacts with the front end of an application and the back end of an application and how all of these can be massaged, that data can be used and presented in neat formats, in dashboard format, in 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 different formats so that your, your business leaders can use that information for insightful decision-making to make decisions that are worth 
making right you know there's a lot of data out there today there's a lot of things out there but uh, to be able to make meaning out of that data it needs to be analyzed it needs to be presented in a way that is uh, understandable and that you can take just a minute to understand what's happening in the in, in your company your organization how business is working that's what the the, the analytics part will help you uh, do and once you have this skill set guys there's no way you're not hit that job running so um, i just wanted to give you uh, an opportunity to go through these uh, workshops, learn them, master them, and speak them as though you're speaking from your heart. So you need to master them really well, know them really well, and have them as some of the as some of the experiences you've had in the past on your resume, guys. I just wanted to share this with you. Thanks again. I'll put the links to these five uh, tutorials or practicals uh, on the. Uh, description section uh, so you can you can watch that please leave us your comments as usual and thanks for um, watching bye bye